In this module we will see how to add profiles to the structure, learning how to configure and edit them. In this introductory class, we will know the functions of profiles in the structure and the general commands of Plant 3D for working with these elements. Created the structure of grid and made its changes, such as adding lines, for example, it's time to add profiles, called members in Plant 3D. The profiles are parts that have great structural efficiency and can be found under different geometries. In Plant 3D, we have a wide variety of types of profiles, which we add to the grid to compose our structure. Let's look at some concepts about the efforts that each type of profile will be subjected to, if you do not have knowledge in the area of structures. Column profiles should normally withstand compression efforts, so profiles with higher inertia are required for these functions. This is the case with H-section profiles, which have the width of the table, equal to or close to the height of the section. Casket, square and rectangular, and tubular section profiles are also often used. Beam profiles have the greatest efforts in bending, and the most used for this application are the I-section laminated profiles. The bracing profiles often withstand both tensile and compression efforts, and their sections are usually lightweight. The choice of profile considers slenderness and resistance to normal efforts. L-shaped and tubular sections are commonly used. To insert profiles, in the structure tab, we use the command member. We can still type the command, node. Enabled the command, Plant 3D prompts you to select points or lines in the grid. Selecting two distinct points will add a profile, and if the click is on the line, the profile will be positioned in the direction of the grid line. The length of the profile is equal to the line length of the grid. We will see further in the course how to modify and configure a profile already created. Let's see how to know if the profile planned is putting is what we want. When we start placing the profiles and do not know what type of profile we will use, or how the profile will be oriented in the line of the grid. To make sure we use the command correctly, Entering the desired profile. We first need to take care of the profile settings, using the plant's teal shape command. These settings can still be accessed in the structure tab through the option shown. And a third way to access them is by activating the command member, right-clicking on the screen and selecting settings. With any of these forms of access, the same dialog box opens. In the next class we will learn how to configure the profiles that we will use in our structure, using the commands we have just met. We close this class, where we know the functions of profiles in the structure and the general commands of Plant 3D for working with these elements.